Okay, it's a little windy to be doing any flying today, but what I'm going to do is uh, basically show what is actually happening to my Aero Commander. Uh, I think wind's about to blow it away. Yeah, it's already set on my radio. Everything down, low rates. Put it back in high rates for the time being. I will use a wall scorpion 500 milliamp 2S battery uh, and it's 45C. And I'm going to leave the battery checker on here. As you can see, it's a 8.341 volts. And try to keep my fingers out of the way. All right, I'm gonna throttle up. Yeah, let me turn the safety switch. Well, Hasn't bound yet. Could be because the wind's kind of blowing it around. I'll put the radio back over here. Try it again. Now about 10 feet away from it. There it goes. Finally. Hit bound. So it connected anyway. Alright. Now what I'm going to attempt to do. Is try to hold this plane. Keep the props from getting into it. At the same time. Follow up, not all the way. So it's kind of acting funny. It's 6.84 volts right now. Put it back to about 60% throttle. Bogged to 7.2. Fell 3.5. 3.0. Uh, 5.8, 3.57, and usually when I it's 336, so what it's doing is hitting low voltage disconnect fairly quickly. Three point two So what it could be doing hitting low voltage disconnect. Actually, that wing looks like it's uh, moving a little bit on top of the fuse right there. Look at that. There we go. Just shut off. Cut back up. Getting 3.2. That might be shut off. And when it does that, 
it goes to fail safe. That's what it's doing, it's hitting low voltage disconnect. But why is it hitting low voltage so quick in the whole cycle? <laughs> 